Hey, what's up guys? So welcome back to another video. Turned over 25,000 miles. Truck is filthy. Probably haven't washed it in like three weeks. So most of the time I wash my truck myself. Two bucket method, uh, use a good soap. You know, typical wheel brake dust, you can see it. I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I usually put some uh, wheel cleaner, all right? I do that and here are all the little bugs. Looking terrible, looking disgusting. So I got a bunch of those. Shit still happens. Yes, sir. So the paint really hides how dirty the truck is, uh, but I usually don't let it go like no more than like two to three weeks without a wash. So during the times that I can't, I don't have time to, to wash it myself uh, because if you all know and have washed your trucks before, these trucks are not small. And so it, it, it's definitely a process to wash your truck. So with that being said, I don't have time to wash it. So I'm gonna send it through an automatic car wash, uh, which is why I put so much time and effort into ceramic coating the truck. Car washes are known to really give those fine scratches uh, to vehicles, especially black. If you got a black vehicle and you send your car through a car wash with no ceramic coating, uh, you're definitely gonna find those fine, fine scratches on the top. And that's where you see all those squirrels. Uh, so that's, that's what, uh, pretty much where it comes from. Um, so my truck's ceramic coated. Uh, I did it for these specific reasons, especially through the winter when you don't want to spend three hours outside washing your truck. It's cold as shit. You just want to get the job done real quick and that's where car washes really come into play. I need to go get some bug and tar spray, remover spray. It's like a prep. And so every time I go through that car wash, I'm throwing on some, uh, some wheel and tire cleaner on the wheels to help out with the brake dust. I'm also spraying the bug and tar remover uh, as a prep spray prior to going into that car wash. So that's pretty much the process of what I do when I do take my truck through a car wash. So I'm gonna go ahead, stop at my local AutoZone, grab those uh, bug and tire rem removal. If I find something cool and shiny, a uh, bottle of wheel and tire cleaner, I'll probably snag that up. Uh, I go through it quite a bit because of just the amount of brake dust that gets on the front wheels especially. I take my ATV to the ATV park so that's an added a thousand pounds of payload that the truck needs to work a little harder to brake uh, and then my boat and so uh, there's uh, the boat doesn't weigh enough for brakes on the trailer and so that's another three four thousand pounds right there that the truck's just having to work a little harder for the brakes. So I got a bunch of brake dust. Well, what's the brakes are getting to the point where like, hey, it's uh, I need to replace them pretty soon. I'm definitely gonna put some quality pa uh, pads, uh, probably some better rotors, uh, just for better braking performance, as well as uh, less brake dust. And I'm not sure if I can get both of those in the same package, uh, but that'll be cool. I hear a bunch of power stop and whatnot, but that's made in China. Um, so I'm real hesitant on made in China stuff red white and blue somewhere on the tag you know i'm gonna go ahead stop to stop at our zone and i'm gonna continue driving uh to the car wash but before that i'm gonna go ahead and put some windows down hopefully y'all can hear some exhaust tune but i'm telling you i wish i had a five inch exhaust because it sounds mean when you get on it but we gotta work what we got i'm just rocking a delete oh, that's a nice 250 right there brand new those 2020s and up, looking sharp, especially those 2020 20 F-150s. So I'm just rocking a, you know, a, a small 200 horse tune. Um, this thing sounds good. This thing sounds really good. I'm thinking about bumping it down to about an 80 or a 120 because I'm taking the boat out every weekend, it's boating season. Uh, and so it may be a little better on my EGTs, um, although I'm definitely going to track my EGTs better on this next trip that I take the boat out, which was supposed to be today, but I think we may catch some showers. So I'm trying to beat the showers, get the car truck washed, and then let it have it sit through uh, the whole shit storm. So I'm going to put these windows back up. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling. 
get some shit done, stop by AutoZone, head to the car wash, I'll meet you there. So I grabbed some Meguiar's Detailer. I've never seen this before, so I'm gonna check it out. That's why I like going into AutoZone every once in a while, seeing what's on the market. And then uh, if I do like it, just have Amazon deliver it to me. So non-acid wheel and tire cleaner, safe for wheels, safe for my wheels, uh, and then bug and tar remover. So just a prep spray for wheels and then front grill before we send it into the car wash. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this stuff uh, and then head straight into the car wash. And then after I'm done, uh, use vacuum cleaners, gets a little sandy, gets a little muddy. Um, there's some Lucas Slick Mist, interior cleaner, right shirt. And I uh, got some microfiber towels. I also have my ceramic boost. So after I'm done, uh, I do this, I like doing this at least once a month, ceramic boost just to, or I guess prolong my ceramic coating on the truck. So, I know I'm good for like two to three years, but this stuff, I feel like it helps. Oh, this stuff sprays on nice. You know, sometimes you get some of those sprayers that are just kind of like choppy. You know, this one's even, real easy to work with. So I kind of like that. I've been trying to find a decent wheel and tire cleaner that's easy to spray on. Go. I did give these tires and wheels a good cleaning last weekend, so they're in good shape for another 5,000 miles. Yeah, I'm probably going to try this stuff out again, especially if it comes out real nice after this car wash. Like I said, I'm going to use this stuff after, give it a vacuum, then use some interior cleaner. All right, bug and tar remover time, prep spray. You know, this stuff is absolutely a must to, uh, especially with our bigger trucks, more tire, more wheel compared to a lot of other vehicles that go through the car washes, but especially this bug and tar remover. Give it a little bit, not too much, because it's gonna take a lot of water to try and get this stuff off without leaving some kind of residue. Something to look out for when you're going through car washes is the height allowed, um, how wide tires they can they can do and usually it's about I don't know, 14 and a half 13 and a half inch tires that they support that a lot of car washes support um, but some actually require like you take off your your hitch and whatnot especially you got a beefy old drop hitch um, big old beefy SOB all right guys so here's what we're working with not too bad took off a lot of brake dust there's still some on there but I uh, can't complain with a $15 car wash. Uh, here is our front. So uh, first wipe down, not too bad. I mean, it's not gonna get everything, but we're good. All right guys, so I just finished I'm putting the ceramic boost on. I use some interior Lucas Slick Mist. That stuff's pretty good. I'll show you right now what I did, as well as, what else did I do? And then I just wiped down the wheels after, uh, after that good wash. So let's go ahead and check this out. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I figured I'd take you along, show you what I do if I don't have time to wash my truck myself. Um, this usually happens about once a month, at least once a month. Uh, usually 
if I got the time, I want to do it once every two weeks. Uh, but you do what you can, especially when it comes down to time. So uh, I'll post all the links of uh, the, the items that I've used, the sprays. That new Maguire stuff, that came out really well. I liked what it did. Nice, strong stuff. The bug and tar remover is a must. Uh, especially for our size grills and bumpers for our trucks. And then that interior Lucas Slick Mist smells good. Make sure it covers your, your, uh, your vinyl, protects it. It's still safe for leather as well. So plastic, vinyl, leather, it's all good. Although I would use some leather um, conditioner for your seats if you do have leather uh, every once in a while, at least once every quarter. So that's about it guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, links are all in the description below. If you got any questions or comments, go ahead and let me know down below as well. Uh, but until next time, see y'all.